Samantha Starr studied creative arts and interior design before setting her sights on scrapbooking. She opened Scrapbook Star in February 2006 and has enjoyed every minute since. She has been featured on CBC Living Montreal and Global TV This Morning Live. Samantha is a proud new teacher at Craft Tech University, and today she is here to share ideas for making tags and photo corners from cereal boxes. I'm delighted to welcome first-time guest on Cool to Craft, Samantha Starr. Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Um, so as Tiffany said, we're going to be making some stuff out of cereal boxes. So I'm going to ask Tiffany to put up the slide of the finished product as I'm going to be moving my camera around. Um, so Tiffany, if you could just pop up that slide. There we go. There is what we're going to be creating today. So I'm going to just move my camera into deck view here. Hang on just a second. That should be good. So we can take down the slide, and I'm going to talk a bit about the supplies that we're going to be using today. So what I have on my desktop here are some pieces that I've cut out of cereal boxes, as you can see by the back of them. Now, I've gone and cut out an oval. And I've done that using a punch. Now, that can be really, really tough on your punches. I tend to use and abuse my tools. So if you're not really cool with sticking in thick cardboard into your punches, you can always use a template and uh, trim around it. Or if you have a Sizzix die, that'll work as well. Now, all of these little photo corners as well are made out of the cereal box or granola bar box, whatever you have handy. If you don't want to use a punch, what you can do is just use your scissors to cut out triangles to complete the photo corners. Now, what you're going to need aside from the cereal box is a decoupage medium, uh, a paintbrush, some acrylic paint that I have here. I'm going to be using a nice orange. You're going to need some tissue paper, glitter, clear embossing ink, clear embossing powder, a stamp of your choice, and any other kind of ink that you want to work with. So today I'm going to be starting with the photo corners. I'm going to show you two different techniques. One that uses tissue paper, which is a favorite medium of mine when I am doing decoupage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my decoupage medium, and I'm going to apply it onto my photo corner. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some tissue paper, you know, just stuff that you save from when people give you gifts, if it's your birthday or the holidays. And what you want to do is you kind of want to put it on, let the camera focus on that, sort of wrinkly, okay? And that's going to give it a really nice texture. And what you can do is you can fold it under like that and add some more of the decoupage medium. and add some more tissue paper. Like that. And some more of the decoupage medium. And you can just keep layering it. And what happens is the decoupage medium actually becomes transparent as it dries. And it creates a transparent tissue paper look. So what you're going to do next is you're going to grab some glitter. I like to use an ultra fine glitter. And you're going to stick it on top. And you're going to shake off your excess. And what happens is, you can see a little bit of the tissue paper there that needs to be trimmed off. What happens is, when it dries, I'll hold up a finished one here, let the camera focus. When it dries, the tissue paper becomes semi-transparent. So you have a little bit of the texture of the tissue paper with 
a whole lot of glitter on top of it. So what else you can do is just by punching out shapes. These are just from cereal boxes here, as you can see. You can just put decoupage medium directly onto your chipboard shapes. Like that. And again, just cover them in glitter. So around here, we have been saving our cereal boxes. Yeah, and um, our granola bar boxes so that I can cut them up. Like I said, it is very hard on your punches. However, if you have um, perhaps a physics or um, and you have a favorite die, it'll definitely go through that. What I'm going to be creating next is this tag here. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to have The, a nice oval like this. All right. And we're going to place it down. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a resist technique. So what you need to do is you need to grab a favorite stamp of yours. I'm going to be using this rose stamp, which is actually something that I drew and is available in the Tool to Craft Marketplace. And you're going to take clear ink and you're going to stamp directly into your clear embossing ink, and then you're going to put it onto your chipboard circle. Next up, you're going to cover it with a clear embossing powder, and you're going to remove any excess. So you're going to end up with something like this, with your embossing powder on there. The next step is to heat the image, which I'm not going to do because my heat tool can be kind of loud. So I have one that's ready to go here that's already been heated. So basically what I've done is I have used a clear ink and a clear embossing powder. And what that's going to do is is going to cause sort of a barrier between the acrylic paint and the, the chipboard or the cereal box in this case. So what you're going to do is you're going to cover your tag with your acrylic paint. And then you're going to take uh, a Kleenex or a paper towel and you're just going to wipe off very lightly any excess paint, what's going to happen is that anywhere where it is embossed, you're going to see the chipboard color. Now remember, if you're going to be using this as a gift tag, let's say on a gift, you're going to want to paint the back of it as well. Then when everything's dry, as I did here on the sample, you can go ahead with a brown ink and you can ink around the edges. Now you have to make sure that you use a dye ink or a solvent ink, something that will dry quickly. Like that. And then you can punch a hole in the top and add a ribbon. And you've got a beautiful gift tag that's made out of cereal boxes, and no one will be any wiser.